offers Parliament bouncers R400 salary increase to keep them motivated EFF rejects the move. The Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, has lambasted Parliament's decision to pay its bouncers an extra R400 in danger allowance. The EFF condemns the decision by the Speaker of National Assembly, Balakamd, to pay the white shirts an extra R400 for the supposed dangers at work, the party said in a statement on Sunday. In essence, Balakamd is paying her professional hooligans, not only to remove members of Parliament from the chamber, but also to do so as dangerous work, said EFF spokesperson Bui Lozai, in a statement. In the first place, the EFF objected to the idea that there must be a unit whose job is to remove MPs from the chamber for the things that they say, Ndlozai said. In February, the EFF and COP MP Willie Maidish who were removed from Parliament during President Jacob Zuma's State of the Nation address. Brawl A brawl between EFF members and the bouncers ensued when the party refused to let Zuma address the MPs. What these professional hooligans do and exist for in Parliament violates Section 58-1B of the Constitution which states that members of the National Assembly have freedom of speech in the Assembly and in its committees, subject to its rules and orders, and are not liable to civil or criminal proceedings, arrest, imprisonment or damages for anything that they have said in, produced before or submitted to the Assembly or any of its committees, said Ntlose I. He said the spirit of this provision is to guarantee freedom of speech. Freedom from fear of intimidation, arrest or any violence that may lead to MPs not speaking their minds. By paying people to come and remove MPs for things that they say as dangerous work creates legitimate basis for fear, and thus, speech can no longer be considered to be free in Parliament, said Ntlo's I. MD is willing to take taxpayers' money and pamper the white shirts for assaulting MPs, he said. In the process no care is given whatsoever to the injury of MPs, EFF women in particular who have been assaulted at the hands of MD's professional hooligans, and Lowe's I said. This proves yet again that Parliament is willing to do everything, including compensated violence, to suppress speech all because they do not want the truth has created a situation where there is more freedom of speech outside Parliament, in places like taxi ranks, than there is inside Parliament, and Lowe's I concluded. Parliamentary spokesperson Moloto Mothipo told City Press, it is common knowledge that they, bouncers, often suffer injuries as a result of physical assault, which in the past has resulted in hospitalization and the need for professional counseling. Mothipo also said the danger pay was an additional compensation above basic compensation granted to employees serving in risky and harmful situations, the city press reported.